Hi, it's Rosalie Brown and welcome to my Pilates Pro Chair workout. I hope you enjoy this amazing core plus more work as much as I do. All right, let's get started with the warm up. And with the warm up, you're going to start with your pedals together. You're going to sit nice and tall, relax those shoulders down and back with a nice tall posture, zipping up through the core. And with your hands, you can have them either relax down by your side or if you'd like to challenge it more, bring them up. All right, we're gonna start with first position, which means our heels are gonna be together, and we're gonna start to pump down onto the springs. All right, sitting nice and tall. Uh, we're gonna do a few more reps than in traditional Pilates Pro Chair workouts, uh, just because I like an extra long workout, and again, it really gets you to know your chair. All right, as I'm sitting here, I'm pressing the heels together, being super mindful of my posture, uh, keeping my buttocks weighted equally into my bench. If you'd like to advance this, again, try it with the arms up. And let's go for eight, seven, pushing down, six, very nice, five, four, three, two, and awesome. Let's change the foot position to just the toes. Heels nice and tall, body nice and tall, and again, pumping down, feeling the muscles in through the quadriceps, hamstrings, and buttock warming up. And I know you're also feeling engagement in through the core and abdominals. So this is the time for you. Uh, when I do my Pilates Pro Chair workout, I think of putting myself as a ballerina. Just trying to sit nice and tall and graceful, uh, being mindful of my lines and my body position. All right, let's pump for eight, seven, very nice, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, place the arches of your feet onto your pedals and let's pump through. Very nice, push, push, push. Again, body tall, being mindful that your shoulders are away from your ears. As I sit here, I think about squeezing my shoulder blades. And again, if you'd like to advance the move, bring those arms up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and awesome. All right, now we're gonna put our heels on with a nice light toe, continue to pump, go. Very nice, pushing through. And you probably already noticed the difference in the muscles of your legs being activated from where your foot position was. Uh, pumping with the heels right now, definitely feeling more in my glutes, more in my hamstrings than I did when my toes were on the pedals. Very good, keep pumping, keep pumping for eight, seven, six, nice, five, four, trying to keep your upper body and core still, three, two, and fantastic. All right, let's get this a little bit more intense by extending one leg. You'll notice I've kept my heel on, and you can either point or flex that foot, whatever feels better. Goal is though to try and get a nice, strong, straight leg, right? Feeling the difference in the intensity as you work with one leg, push through, body tall. Feel free to readjust for eight, seven, very nice, six, push it. Very good, keep that leg strong and straight in three, two, and let's switch to the other heel. Get it on the nice padded part, extend the other leg strong. Again, body tall, point or flex, and pump away. Very good, definitely feeling the muscles in through the lower body, heating up, lots of focus on our core. You got this guys, keep pushing, keep pumping. For eight, seven, very nice, six, five, push, push, four, three, 
two, and switch legs. Back to our toe position, up nice and high, extending the other leg. Again, you need to squeeze the top of the thigh to maintain that nice, strong, straight positioning. Drive into it. As we get warmer, you'll be able to push a little harder. Keep pumping, keep pumping. Very nice. And we're aiming for about 16 to 24 reps per foot. In four, three, two, and switch again. Again, controlling that pedal. Drive it down, extend the other leg, sitting tall, and push. Be mindful that your buttock cheeks are resting equally on your chair. Try not to favor one side of the body or the other as we pump through. Definitely feeling my heart rate increase. Again, those muscles are demanding oxygen, which forces us to breathe a little bit heavier. All right, let's do eight, seven, good job, six, five, heel nice and high, four, three, two, and fantastic. All right, we're gonna release our pedals. So just press. And now we are going to run. Really get that body warmed up. Here we go. Nice and tall, pump, 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 pump. And for this run, we are gonna go for a full one minute. So let's go. Keep those legs pumping, keep them moving. Be mindful of the abdominals. Again, if you'd like to challenge it a little bit more. Oh yes. Bring up the arms, go, go, go. Very nice, guys. Focus, focus, focus. Driving with the toes. You got this, you got this. Now, if this doesn't feel good on your body, feel free to put your heels down or even place it within the arch of your foot. Again, always feel free to modify an exercise to make it work for you. All right, guys, we are at the 30 second mark. Go, go, go. Keep pushing, keep pushing. I want that body nice and warm. Excellent. Run, 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 run. Pump, 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 pump. Feel the abdominals engage. I know you're feeling the shoulders working as you're holding your arms high. We have 10 more seconds in our one minute run challenge. Go, 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 go. In four, three, two, and I know you're feeling a little bit more warmed up. All right, from here, we are just gonna go into a boat pose. So feel free to take advantage of the handles on your chair. I want you to feel safe. I want you to feel secure. In a boat pose, we try to keep our chest nice and tall. We try to line up our toes with our knees. And even uh, if you wanna push your elbows, as I've done right here into the sides, to help support or release. And let's hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and very nice. All right, from here, we're gonna come off our chair. We are going to place our pedals together to make one. Awesome, and we're going to go down into our press down. So you're gonna place both hands and you're just gonna press down, exhale, sucking in, rounding that back. Eyes are on your thighs, push, 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 and then slowly release up. Let's do eight of these, here we go. And exhale and push. And slowly come back up. Legs are nice and straight. And here we go, down again. Push, push, push. Exhale. Very nice. If you find that your head is close to the seat, feel free to take a step back as you press down and reach towards the floor, really creating a nice internal vacuum and slowly come back up. You should feel some awesome stretching all the way down into the calves. All right, guys, let's do that again. Push, exhale. Now I want you to pulse it here. Pulse and push. And as you're pulsing, 
I want you to really round that back up. I really want you to suck in those abdominals. I want you to keep your toes light so you can get some additional stretch work into your calves. And pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and slowly roll up. Let's take it all the way up, inhale. Exhale, let's go back down again. All right, guys, single reps, press towards the floor. Exhale, and come back up. And exhale, press, and come back up. Nice, light toes. And exhale, press. Very nice. On this one, we're gonna stay down and pulse, and push, and as we're down here, let's try to suck it in. Create a nice internal vacuum in through the abdominals. The eyes are on the thighs for eight, seven, six, five, very nice, four, three, two, and so good. Slowly come back up, rolling up, big breath, inhale, and exhale out. All right, your hands are now going to be placed on your chair as we go into a pull-up. So carefully step on your pedals, one foot at a time, and we are going to lift the hips as high as we can and come back down. And lift your hips up and come back down. And lift. And lift, and come back down. And lift, and now we're gonna stay up and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and all the way down. Very nice. Sitting back on the heels, stretching the hamstrings a bit. Let's do that again. Single reps coming up. Lift, 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 lift. And releasing down. And lifting up. And releasing down. And lifting up. Feel so much abdominal work happening. And let's pulse this one for eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and sweet. Again, drop the heels down to the floor. Gently rock back and stretch. Doesn't that feel good? All right, if you'd like to come a little bit higher, feel free to adjust your springs. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to add some resistance and get an even higher hip lift. All right, watch your foot as you press down. And as we lift up, 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 you can see the additional spring helps me to get a little higher. And slowly down and roll up, 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 up. Hold it and release down again. Two more, lift up, up, up. Very nice, one more time. Lifting up and let's pulse it here. Pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and slowly come down. Very nice. Carefully step off, control the spring, and we're going to go back and stretch. So I'm going to release back into a lighter spring to help me get a deeper stretch. So hands go back onto your pedals, reach down for the floor, and let's pulse it here for eight, seven, six. Again, eyes on your thighs, eyes on your thighs. Very nice. In four, three, two, 
Excellent. All right, from here we're going to our mountain climbers. So you're gonna press the pedal down, place one foot on your chair, and that knee's gonna come up, and then you're gonna bend and drive. 24 reps, guys, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, eyes on your thighs, set two. One, two, three. And one more set of mountain climbers on this leg. Four, three, two, and very nice. Carefully step all the way down. Release the pedal and let's switch legs. Press down all the way. Other foot comes on top. Slowly rise up and let's bend that knee for a mountain climber of 24. Go. One, two. Eyes on your thighs. Again. One more set of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and sweet. Slowly come down. We're gonna switch again. So if you wanna put your foot right on that pedal, other leg is coming up. Again, be mindful of sucking in the abdominals, eyes on your thighs, and bend and press. Eight again. One more set of eight, guys. We got this. Four, three, two, and very nice. One more switch. Now be mindful when you're doing your mountain climbers to try not to have your chest resting on your thighs. You wanna suck it in, create that strong internal vacuum and bend that knee and drive it. Three sets, eight, go. We got eight more. And eight, very nice. Come down to the floor. I want you to put both feet on and let's go back into that pike or pull up pose. Here we go, pull up and down. Now on the lighter spring, you might not get up as high, but I know you can feel that abdominal. Lift up, 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 up. Slight pause, release down. Lifting up, 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 and release down. Let's do four more. Very nice, let's do three more. So good, let's do two more. And one more, let's pulse it here for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, nice. And again, try to remember that cue all the time of your eyes on your thighs. All right, let's do another push down. Just to stretch it out. So here we go, pressing down and pulse. Again, eyes on your thighs for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and very nice. All right, slowly roll up, inhale, and exhale down. Walk to the back of your chair. We're gonna do more upper body training. All right, from there, we are going to go into our We are going to go into our swan dives. So let's place our hips and abdominals 
just so that you feel comfortable and balanced. Hands are gonna go on the pedals and we're gonna go into our swan dive. So I want you to extend those arms as much as you can. I want you to squeeze your glutes. Let's press and lift and press and lift. Very good. Press and lift. Oh, feels so good. Press and lift. Excellent. Press and lift. Let's do four and three and two. One more. Hold it. From here, I want you to go into flutter kicks. So you are squeezing your bum bum so hard, keeping a nice proud chest. If you can try and lift the top of your thighs off your chair, go for it. But we are gonna flutter kick here for 30 seconds. So squeeze your glutes hard, keep your legs straight. Good job guys, we got 15 more seconds. Squeeze your glutes, pump your legs 10 more seconds. A little tighter, a little stronger. Four, three, two, and back to our swan dive. So we're gonna press down and let the springs bring us back up to a nice arched position. Press down and then lift up high. Press and lift and press and feel free to adjust the springs anytime throughout our workout to make this your own. Press and lift, nice proud chest. Press and lift, let's do two more. Press, wide legs will give you more stability on your chair. Awesome, all right, neutral position and flutter kick, 30 seconds, here we go again. So nice and strong, very good guys. Squeeze your glutes hard, the legs stay straight as we pump and we kick and we squeeze the glutes. Go, 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 pump and pump and flutter and flutter. 10 more seconds, very nice, very nice. In five, four, three, two and sweet. All right, from here, just uh, carefully slide back and we are going to release our pedals so they're separate, back into our swan dive position, but we're gonna be working one arm at a time. So here we go, pressing through. Again, squeezing your glutes as you press and reach and reach down towards the floor. Extend, extend. Very good. Again, try to keep your buttocks tight, your legs straight behind you. All right, guys, we are gonna increase the tempo. Are you ready? Go. Tap, 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 tap. Second set of eight, go, go, go. Tap, 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 gentle tap of the knuckles. All right, are you ready? Last eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and so awesome. I know you'll feel that in both the triceps, the biceps, and your shoulders. So good. All right, let's get ready for balance work and lock your pedals together. So we're gonna come around to the front I love the taller arms on the Pilates Pro Chair because they help you with your balance. Uh, we're gonna face into it uh, with one knee bent. So you wanna make a nice 90 degree angle. And again, that, start with your hand here and as you pump down, if you can, release the arm and if you wish, lift the arms up as we also Again, just work on better posture by squeezing our shoulder blades and working our balance and working our core. Very nice, guys. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and sweet. Arms come back down. All right, let's switch legs. You can use the same side of your pedal if you wish. Just make sure you've got a nice 90 degree angle. If you need to use the chair to help balance, start pumping. If you feel confident, uh, feel free to raise the arms and taking them overhead will be the next level challenge. So pump and pump and pump. Very nice, go, go, go. Dig in, dig in. Five, four, three, two, and exhale down. All right, let's try the other leg again. Again, you know I like to repeat my exercise. I always find I'm even better on the second round. All right, place your foot up, check your balance. And again, square it out. I'm just trying to be uh, camera friendly. So pump, you can have arms down at the side. You can have arms up. Again, more challenge, nice tall extension. Try to keep your body super tall as we drive, 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 push, push, push for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and very sweet. All right, let's switch legs. Other foot comes up, body tall, feel the floor, and start to pump. Again, advance it by various arm positions. Standing tall, push, 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 work on your balance. Very nice. Dig in, pump it, pump it. Five, four, three, two, and excellent. All right, now we are gonna focus more on the inner thigh. And to do that, all you have to do is open up. So turn that knee out. Again, with this different position, start. So it's like a sort of a sumo squat position or again, position one in ballet with those heels together. I'm gonna just hang on so I can focus. Uh, once you've got that, feel free to just lightly float your hand above your chair. But can you feel the different muscle working? Definitely, yes. Eight, seven, six, five. I like this one. Four, three, two, great. To make it easy, let's just go to the other side of the chair. Again, turn it out. Open up that inner thigh. Body very tall. Again, we're still working on our balance as we drive. Again, your hand is close to the chair rail as you pump through and work that inner thigh. Drive it, drive it, push, push. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Excellent, all right, let's repeat it again. Come to the other side of your chair. Again, you can really line yourself up nicely. Open up that inner thigh, body tall. And again, your hand is near the chair if you need that extra balance and, and support. Always zipping it in. My shoulders are down and back squeezing my shoulder blades as I pump and focus on balance. And you can definitely feel this one attacking the glute and the inner thigh. Let's do eight. Very nice. Four, three, two, and one more time to the other side. Woo! Definitely heat, definitely warmed up. Okay, I'm gonna turn it out, opening it up. I'm gonna turn out with my other foot as well to challenge it. 
Again, my chair is close, so I'm really feeling it. If I need that extra support and balance. And you'll probably notice that one side of your body is stronger than the other, or that you balance better on one side. Drive it through for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, so good. All right, guys, time to work some upper body. Let's hit the triceps, another personal favorite. All right, we're gonna get down on the floor and our pedals, our hands are gonna go on the pedals behind us. Such a good exercise. Uh, you don't have to wonder whether it's, whether it's working, you will feel it right away. So start with your elbows just slightly below shoulder height. And I want you to extend down and bring it back up. Extend down and bring it back up. Very nice. Press. So good. Press. Feel free to make adjustments with your body position if it doesn't feel right. You can slide a little bit more forward. Uh, but you really want to try and keep your glutes close to the pedals. All right, from here we're going to pulse it. Tap, tap, proud chest. Buttocks weighted equally into the floor. Eight more. Push eight, seven. Very nice. Six, five, four, three, two. Let's slow that down again. Push eight. Release. Seven. Hold it down at the bottom. When the arms are extended, that's when the triceps have the most amount of tension on them. And that's where you're working the muscle right there. Are you ready for one more set of pulses? And here we go. Pulse eight, seven, six, nice, five, four, three, two, and woo! Very sweet. Let's just do a bit of a stretch. You're gonna reach the arm forward, bend at the elbow, and just gently, oh, it's very warm, heated on that tricep muscle. If you wanna take that up overhead, that's a very excellent stretch as well for the tricep. Other side, again, over. If you need a deeper stretch, just gently press right below the elbow on that tricep. Very, very awesome. All right, reverse abs. Love these. Uh, they are a challenging exercise to do, uh, but your chair makes it a little bit easier. So you're gonna relax back. Uh, my head is on the foot cushion. I'm gonna bring my knees up, extend the legs, and I'm going to lift and lower. And lift and lower. So the higher you bring your hands, the easier it will be. So you want to lift and lower and try to point your toes up towards the ceiling. Lift and lower. I'm going to try and straighten my legs even more. Lift and lower. So the most important part of this exercise is right there. Try and hold those hips in the air. Roll up and lower down. Very nice. Lift up and lower down. Excellent. Let's try 10 and lower down. Nine. Very nice. Bigger pause, bigger results, guys. Press and hold. You can really feel that in the lowest part of your abdominals. You're just rolling it up. Very nice. Strong, straight legs. So I'm trying to aim straight up, up, and release. And straight up, and release. Let's do three more. Drive it up, two more. Okay, let's try and hold this one as long as we can. And very nice, bring those knees into the chest and hug it in. Tough exercise, but the Pilates Pro Chair allowing us to hold on makes it just that little bit easier. All right, let's work 
on our flying eagle. So just flip it over and you want your hands to be extended. Get into this position and just by getting into this position I know you are feeling an amazing stretch in your back and in your shoulders. So let's just hold it here for four, three, two, and gently press all the way through, lifting. All right, let's do eight singles. Here we go. Lift and lower. Try to press your hip bones equally into the floor as you're lifting and rolling. And press and hold. Very nice. And press and hold. So good. Let's do three more. And push. So good. Let's do two more. One more. And let's hold this last one. If you want to pump your arms as you hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax, hold. Same stretch we started with. Hold for eight, seven. Very fantastic. Okay, slowly release. I want you to round up. And let's just round up into cat pose. So I want you to create a nice internal vacuum. Eyes on your thighs. Push, push, push. And then we are moving on to hamstrings. So we are going to place our feet on the pedals. So find the angle, a good 90 degree angle. And we're just going to start with pulsing down. So pulse. And with this pulsing action, you start to feel right away the muscles in through the back of your legs. I can feel them flexing with every single press. So just pump, pump, pump. Very nice. And I've got my feet with the pedals in my arches. Uh, if you'd like, well, let's try all three and four and three, two. All right, let's go to the toe position. All right, and let's pump again because those hamstrings, oh yes, they are strong muscles. So they can take more work. Let's do eight more with the toe. Lots of footwork too with Pilates chair pro. All right, now the heels and drive. So with the heels, you should notice a much bigger range of motion. It's allowing us to use bigger muscles to attack the glutes and the hamstrings. So again, feel free to try all three or stick with your favorite, whatever works best for you. As I'm doing this, I'm also being mindful of pressing my low back into my mat for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and I know your hamstrings are heated up. All right, from here, we're gonna go into a lift. So come up, squeeze your glutes, and come back down. Again, lift, squeeze your glutes, and come back down and lift stretch those hip flexors and come back down now on this one we're going to stay high and let's start to pulse awesome push 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 press very nice so i'm focusing on getting an extra squeeze in my hamstrings or a stretch in my hip flexor and push for eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, and very awesome. Let's go back down, drive up, give me four, give me three, give me two, one more, 
back down onto the floor and let's pump with your heels again and push and push for 10, 9, 8, 7, so good, 6, I know you can feel this, 5, and 4, and 3, and 2, and let's hug it in. Stretch those glutes a little bit more. Very awesome. All right, from there, open the legs wide as we roll up and place your hands on the pedals. We are gonna just pulse through. So nice, light pulsing action. Feel the core engage, the abdominals, the obliques, and feel the nice work in the upper lat area, your upper back and pulse. This is very similar to the feel that you get when you do your Pilates 100. So pump, 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 pump. Very awesome. Push, push, push. So great exercise to stabilize the core. Great exercise for the abdominals. And you'll also feel this in your back. All right, we're gonna slow this down and get it focused more into the abdominals. So I want you to push down and up. And you'll notice as I roll forward into a half crunch to focus on the abs even more. So push, crunch, and back up. And push and crunch. Very nice. Let's do three more. Push and crunch. Let's do two more. Push. One more. Excellent. All right, we are going to do another pull up uh, because I love that exercise. And uh, so you can choose your springs. If you wanna go a little bit heavier, remember that will assist you with your pull up or uh, many of us in the fitness world call this pikes. So again, you're gonna step on with both feet and you're gonna let those hips rise. And I want you to keep your eyes on your thighs and slowly lower down. Again, and lift and lower and lift and lower. Now on this one, I want you to pulse it. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, push those hips up, five, eyes on your thighs, four, pulse three, pulse two, and excellent. Slowly come back down, stepping away, and I want you to place your hands back on the pedals, sitting back and drive towards the floor. Again, eyes on your thighs. With a heavier spring, you may not be able to get down as far. Stretch feels good. I'm keeping my toes nice and light. Getting muscle work and stretch work with the extra set of springs on. Here we go. And push. Let's do one more. Pulse it down here. Pulse, push. Eyes on your thighs. Suck it in, create an internal vacuum. For four, three, two, nice. All right, since we're coming to the end of the workout, Feel free to go for a lighter spring and then just press and hold. Getting right down there. Awesome. Relax for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and awesome. All right, with our hands right on the chair, I want you to drop your chest through to get a nice chest stretch. Very awesome. Soften the knees, rolling up. 
back onto our chair. Nice easy sit as we inhale up and then come over into mermaid. Very awesome. Feel a nice stretch in through the obliques and bring it back up. Very good. And inhale. Reach, feel that stretch and gently bring it over. Excellent. You got this. Now, one more time, if you'd like to advance it, you can extend the legs, support yourself, inhale, and reach and balance. Very awesome. And coming back up, let's do the other side. Starting in the seated position, inhale up, reach over first, and then keeping your feet on the floor, feeling an awesome stretch in through your obliques and your back. Bring it back up. If you need more support, lengthen that back leg. Again, as you inhale up, start the bend, and then feel free to lean into the pedal. Oh yes, nice long body stretch, proud chest, always squeezing those shoulder blades, and bring it back up. All right, if you'd like to advance it, right up onto your side. And this is a nice balance exercise. And you'll notice muscle differences on both sides of your body. Just a nice long stretch for eight. Very nice. Coming back down into swan. Press and lift and stretch for eight, seven, six, five. Open up that chest, get that oxygen in. Excellent, slowly roll down, slide back off your chair. And sitting on your chair, I hope you enjoyed my Pilates chair workout. Uh, again, it's a nice workout, especially attacking the core. Slows us down a bit, yet lets us focus on our lines, our posture. Uh, remember, consistency is key with your workouts. I hope you join me again.